Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a Kubernetes or Francia tutorial. If you are already running a Kubernetes cluster, you might be wondering how do I manage it easily using Rancha. In this video, I'll show you how to import an existing Kubernetes cluster into Rancha so you get a clean UI, better visibility, and easier workload management. For this demo, I'll be using Minikube, but these steps work for any Kubernetes cluster, whether it's running on cloud, on prem, or local. So let's get started. Here's what we will do in this video. First, we will start our Minikube cluster and make sure it's running properly. Then, we will import it into Rancher using the Rancher's provided curl command. After that, we will monitor the status in Rancher until the cluster becomes active. And finally, we'll deploy our test application to confirm everything is running as expected. Before we import our Kubernetes cluster into Rancher, we first need to ensure that our Minikube cluster is running and that it can communicate with Rancher. Let's start Minikube by running Minikube start. This will create a single node Kubernetes cluster on our local machine. Once the cluster is up, we need to verify that the node is in a ready state. We can do this by running kubectl get nodes. Next, we need to make sure that our Minikube cluster can communicate with Rancher. To test this, we'll do a simple ping test. If we get a response, that means our cluster can reach Rancher. Now let's switch to Rancher and import our existing cluster. Go to cluster management, click import existing. Since this is a generic Kubernetes cluster, we'll choose generic as the import type. This method works for Minikube, on-prem clusters, and even cloud-based Kubernetes deployments. Next, give your cluster a meaningful name. I'll name mine Minikube Demo, but you can name it however you like. Once you're done, click Create, and Rancher will generate a kubectl command for us to run. Since we're using self-signed certificates, Rancher automatically includes a command with insecure flag to bypass certificate validation. Let's copy that command and run it inside our Minikube cluster. This will deploy Rancher agent inside our Minikube cluster, allowing Rancher to communicate with it. Now that we have run the import command inside our Minikube cluster, Rancher is in the process of connecting and registering the cluster. Let's switch back to Rancher and check the status. Now that our cluster is imported, let's deploy a simple test application to make sure everything is working properly. In Rancher, go to Workloads, click Create and select Deployment. For the deployment details, we will name it Hello World and we will use the container image as Rancher slash Hello World. Next, we need to expose this deployment so we can access it. Scroll down to the service section and create a service with the type cluster IP and port 80. Cluster IP means the service is only accessible within the cluster, but since uh, Rancher provides an internal proxy, you'll still be able to view the application from the UI. Once you're done, click create and Rancher will deploy the application. Now that our Hello World deployment is running, let's test it. Go to services, find Hello World and click the HTTP link. This opens Rancher's built-in proxy page where we should see our test application running. And that's it. We successfully imported an existing Kubernetes cluster into Rancher, Check that everything was working and even deployed a simple workload. Now that our cluster is managed inside Rancher, we can easily deploy apps, scale workloads, and monitor everything from a single UI. In the next episode, we'll dive deeper into managing workloads inside Rancher. So stay tuned. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button. And if you want more hands-on Kubernetes and Rancher content, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.